UMass Boston women's basketball at home taking on Clark University on Saturday morning, looking to extend their win streak to three consecutive games. Early on, they would trail 8-2. to two. Meg Dixon gets the scoring run started for the Beacons with that jumper right there. Sonny Green then on the pass from Carrie Ann Farina nails that corner three to make it a one-point game. And then Dixon would head to the line for two free throws, hit both of them, and just like that, the Beacons take their first lead of the game, 9-8. to eight. Carrie Ann Farina then heads to the line, nails two free throws of her own, caps off the beacon run at nine straight points makes it 11 to 8 and then a tie game 11 all meg dixon on the pass from sunny green nails that one from the left side of the court beacons in front 14 to 11 and then dixon again from the right side this time doing it from everywhere gives the beacons a six point advantage they would take an eight point lead going into the second quarter then dixon again doing it all another three-pointer right there Puts the Beacons ahead. Now they're up 11 on the give and go. Alexa Potter gets that one to fall. The Beacons would take their largest lead of the game right here on another layup from Potter as she'd get inside on the turnaround and makes it a 15 point game. And then Meg Dixon yet again with yet another three pointer here on the pass from Paige Oliver gets that one in the Beacons back in front by 14 points. In the second half, Clark would threaten from time to time. The Beacons would answer back in the third. Alexa Potter getting her own miss right there, lays it home, and that's the start of a Bacon 6-0 run as Dixon nails another three-pointer right there, makes it a 5-0 run, and then Potter with another free throw right here would make it a 6-0 run for the Beacons. And at the end of the third quarter, Potter nailing a jumper right there, sends the Beacons into the fourth quarter up 12. And then Meg Dixon looked to put the dagger in the heart of the Cougars right there with that three-pointer, makes it a 14-point game, but the Cougars would answer back with an 8-0 run started by two layups by Jacqueline Felice right here on the left side. And suddenly, the Beacon lead is down to just 10 points. Cameron Ritchie adds a free throw. It's now down to 9. Then Julianne Lebo, right here on the pass from Follies in the right corner, nails the three. It's now a six-point game in favor of the Beacons. But the Beacons would answer back with a 6-0 run to end this one. Sonny Green with a layup right there to make it an eight-point game. Meg Dixon with yet another jump shot right here makes it 61-51. The Beacons add two more on a pair of free throws. And they take this game 63 to 51 at home. Meg Dixon, a double double, 25 points, 15 rebounds on 8 of 18 shooting. She was 6 of 14 from three. And then Alexa Potter in 18 minutes, 20 points and four rebounds. The Beacons get ready for a road game on Tuesday night against Emerson College on the road at 7 o'clock p.m.